Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today I want to share my long-awaited bathroom renovation and tour with you guys. If you watch my videos regularly, then you probably know that our bathroom renovation took a lot longer than expected, but it's finally done. It's been finished for a few weeks and so it is time to share it with you. Technically, I think everything in the bathroom has changed apart from the floors, the toilet, and the outlets, but some changes were more subtle, like painting the walls a different color white, while some were more obvious, like ripping out the bath and putting in a walk-in shower. So I'm gonna show you the before clip and then we'll get into what it looks like now. It's demo day, so I wanted to film a quick before um, video of the bathroom. So on the right hand side we have cabinets, then our shower tub combo, and this is what's being demoed today. Window, towel bar, cabinet, toilet, vanity, a lot of like moisture damage on that. Um, so those will be refinished as well. But the big thing being done today is that our shower tub combo is going to be um, demoed today. They're going to knock all of this out. Um, and then they're going to start doing the work to prepare this to be a walk-in shower. So they have to like recenter the drain and um, do all sorts of things. And then later a different contractor is going to be like replacing all the hardware, um, replacing the countertop, installing a medicine cabinet if we can find one that we like, and refinishing all of the um, wood that has this sort of chipping um, paint moisture damage on it. And that's the before. So the main reason that we embarked on this renovation in the first place is because we knew that water was getting behind the tiles, through the grout, and potentially causing mold. And we found out when we tore everything down that there was mold back there. So we tried to have the tile regrouted numerous times before this renovation and nothing actually worked. And so we knew it all needed to come out. And while we were at it, we decided that we might as well get what we wanted out of the process anyway. So there were three main things that we wanted out of this renovation. One was a walk-in shower. Secondly, we wanted a new vanity top because the previous one was made of tile and incredibly difficult to clean. And finally, I wanted a medicine cabinet because my husband and I share a couple of items like contact solution and mouthwash and those things previously lived on top of the vanity so we could both easily access them. But I wanted a medicine cabinet so we could tuck them away but still both easily get to them without having to put it into one of our individual sets of drawers. So with no further ado, let's get into what it looks like now. All right, here is the bathroom and apologies to anyone who thought it would be super dramatic. We kept everything pretty white and bright in part because our bedroom is pretty dark and I prefer bathrooms that are bright. So I'll give you an overview and then we can dive into what's in the drawers and all that fun stuff. Over here we have our vanity and the cabinet underneath it, the medicine cabinet, and of course the vanity light and our clock over here. Next to that we have our toilet and waste bin and above that another cabinet. Then we have our shower setup. So underneath the window we have our double towel bar and then we have the actual walk-in shower here. And then to the right of that we have our robe on a hook. My husband and I just share a robe because we don't wear robes that often. And then we have two more cabinets that hold extra towels and our laundry. So now we can dive into each little section. All right, it's time for the fun part. We can go and see what is in my cabinets and my drawers. First of all, my plant is kind of dying. I don't have a very green thumb. Let's start on this side. These three cabinets are mine. In here um, is just a scale and some cleaning products. And then these three drawers belong to my husband. So over here, starting with my top drawer, in here I have my Invisalign stuff, glasses, a lighter for the candle, and some lady wear in the back. In 
this drawer I have my makeup that all fits into that one um, candle holder. Nail polishes, I still have kind of a lot of nail polishes. I should probably go through them, but I do like the colors that I have. This is my travel toiletry bag and it is holding a barrel brush that I have no idea how to use, so I should probably get rid of it. Nail polish remover, um, cotton pads, some weird pointed Q-tips that didn't work out the way I hoped they would, a bunch of contacts in the back, and here I have a spare deodorant. I thought I was running out of deodorant, but I wasn't. I don't usually keep spares of products so that I don't need to store them, but that one was my mistake. And then down here in the last drawer, all I have is my curling iron that I basically never use. I use it probably twice a year and hairspray for that lives here because I also don't use hairspray except for maybe twice a year and a magnifying mirror. And I won't go through my husband's drawers because they're his. So moving up to the medicine cabinet, let me open this whole thing. All right, this is everything that lives in our medicine cabinet. And it's sort of split, so this side is mine, and this side is my husband's. That's mutual stuff. That's his again, and that's travel Q-tips. So over here, we have our toothpaste and toothbrushes in that cup. I really like this cup. It's rubberized glass, so we don't have to feel... It doesn't feel too delicate to keep in this space. We have SPF and then some of my hair products. I don't really need all of these. I really only want Velvet Hammer, but I'm trying to make myself use up the rest of the things that I have. Moving up, we have Retin-A deodorant, some hair clips, tweezers, more hair clips, contacts, SPF for face, face moisturizer, lotion, floss, down here, mouthwash, shaving cream, and some of my husband's stuff. And then over here we have uh, mostly my fragrances, that's my husband's, that's also my husband's, and then I have some skincare products up top that I need to use up. And I really love this medicine cabinet. It has basically changed my entire bathroom game. I really like that it's mirrored on the inside as well, and it has this little magnifying mirror that it's not a very high power, as you can see, but it can move up and down and sort of adjust for height. So. I'm very pleased with the medicine cabinet. It means that we can keep all of the stuff that previously lived on top of our vanity away and it's closed and you don't have to see it. So thumbs up for medicine cabinets. Moving on, you probably know what a toilet is, so we won't cover that. Above is this cabinet and my one regret with the bathroom renovation is that I didn't think to take this cabinet out before it was too late. So. The next time we have a go at the bathroom, I plan to knock this guy down and maybe put in two simple open shelves, but that's the one thing I didn't think to do. And the reason I want to take it down is because we don't really need this storage anymore. So in here, if you saw my um, one of my 30 day minimalism game videos, then you will have seen that this used to be packed and now we only have a box of q-tips, some um, white cloths, toilet paper, and then some sort of extra toiletries slash mutual toiletries slash things we don't use terribly often. We have a lint roller that we actually do use quite often and spare toothbrushes in the back. These are the Nimbus toothbrushes. I buy them on Amazon and they are the softest toothbrushes I have ever found. So if you have delicate gums like I do, check those guys out. It bothers me that they're made of plastic, but they're still really good. So that is this cabinet. All right, now let's move on to the shower setup. So underneath the window, we have a double towel bar. Um, which is convenient since we have two people and no real other place to put towels and we need two towels. Um, starting off in front of the shower, we have two fixed panes of glass on either side of the door and I'm really happy with this glass door slash partition because so many of the glass people told us we would have to have a transom, like a solid piece of glass above there, but we finally found somebody who would make it for us sans transom, and I'm really pleased with it. In here, we have 
marble on the floors, ceramic tiles on the walls, and the curb is made of the same quartz that is used on the vanity, so the materials sort of match. Almost everything in the entire bathroom is restoration hardware. This is restoration hardware. The only things that are not restoration hardware are this, this is Kohler, and the medicine cabinet is also Kohler. And over here, we put the valves to turn the shower on and off on this side so that we can turn it on and not get splashed by water immediately. That was the one requirement that my husband had, and I think it's worked out really well. And we have our little shower niche over here with our sponge, it's a natural sea sponge, and then shower gel and shampoo hanging out there. All right, final cabinets, and actually, here again we have the hook with the robe. But in this top cabinet we have, oh there's just hanging out on it, we have our spare towels and our beach towels. There's nothing on that top shelf. And then down here we have three bins that hold our laundry. So the top bin is for delicates. This bin is for whites, and this bin at the bottom is for color clothing. And I think that's it. Oh, and this is a new rug. Um, we previously had two bath mats, one in front of the bath shower con combo and one over here, and we replaced it with one long runner. This is jute, I think it's five feet long, and I think it works really well with the, the natural vibes of the jute, I think work really well with the natural vibes of the marble. So I am really pleased with how this has turned out. All right, that's it for my bathroom tour. I hope you've enjoyed this little before and after as well as the peek behind my cabinets and drawers to see what I've decided to keep, at least for now. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.